Do it. Okay guys, so we're about to do an art project guys and I took a picture of it from yesterday So uh, this is the first step and then we got our paints right here all those paints And here are all my paints and here are all Christina's paints. So we're gonna do this guys So that is step one guys. So we're gonna go through step one and I will catch you guys later. Bye Okay guys, so now we put glitter white uh, for the outline and then we're gonna put in um glitter white on the edges um of the rest of it so we're gonna do the second step see you guys in a little bit bye Okay guys, so this is how it's looking now. So I put some teal, and then I put these two colors right there, which are like a pink and purple. And then I'm gonna go with the blues. Um, and then after that, I'll go with the orange on the bottom. So yeah, this is how it's looking. And then after, we're, after I'm done putting these colors, then I'll do the next step, and I'll show you guys the next step. And I'll just show you guys when it's all finished and all done, it's gonna look amazing, so. Yeah, catch you guys soon. Bye. Okay, guys, so this is how it's looking. This was the next step. And we're going to finish it next Wednesday, but it looks really good. And I think it was a really good idea that we decided to put glitter white. Um, it's kind of like a clear, but it kind of makes um, the painting kind of look um, glittery uh, with all the colors. And I think I'm going to put a little more green on the edges of it because i just feel like it needs more green and then um she's cleaning the stencil right now but we're gonna do this next time we'll do the stencils and yeah we're gonna finish it and this is how christina's looks so this is kind of how mine's gonna look um mine's gonna look a little different we'll see how many i actually want to do um but yeah guys here's our big mess and all that but it went really well so yeah guys i will catch you guys later when we uh do day two of finishing this bye okay guys so it's wednesday the next week of wednesday guys so i end up changing my um two lighter colors to like spring colors so this is my ot's one christina and here are all the paints um, as you guys can tell, I went with like the lighter colors. So, so, and here's the platter of paints that we used and the big old mess that we made, but that's okay. Now I gotta probably go clean these after I make this video. But anyways, guys, I went with lighter colors. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. But yeah, I went with lighter colors and then after that one is done, let's see where is it? Hold on, guys. I do I have it? So after we're done, guys, I'm going to go with this color on top of my painting all over it. So then it makes it all shimmery and glittery. Um, so yeah, and then here are all the leftover paints that we did use originally before. Uh, from before, from the first time I made it. And here are the colors that we use now. So I'll catch you guys in a second. You guys know as artists, um, sometimes we tempt to want to do certain colors, but then we change to different colors. So here's Christina's. And that's mine. So yeah, this is going to be my final result of like the colors that I picked. Um, I thought originally that I wanted to go with dark colors, as you guys saw right here these are all the dark colors um but then i kind of was um looking more into it and i'm like you know what i think it's gonna look better if i do lighter colors and here are all the paints right there um these are my ot's paints so let me borrow them for this painting because we did it together so yeah guys i just wanted to let you guys know that i changed my painting so now I gotta go and clean all these things, clean this mess and all that. So, yeah guys, next week we will be finishing the butterflies. And then I'll do my final 
step to it and then it'll be done and then hopefully after i'll be able to upload it so catch you guys later bye
Okay guys, so we just finished the project and I'm actually going to be using this last color when it dries up, but um, my OT took all her paintings because we're done. So these are the colors that I used, so let's see if I can show you guys. So neon yellow, neon blue, sorry. It's upside down, hold on. Neon orange, and then we used, it's upside down again. Wait, jeez. Metallic orange, and then we used neon pink. We used metallic blue. Then we used, oh, sorry, it's upside down, metallic lime green. And then we used light pink and blue, Persian blue. So, yeah, that is what we used for my color. So, we used my old Tita Curse. So, and this thing, I'll show you guys my final result on it. So see you guys in a second. Bye. Okay, guys. So here are the colors that we used. Uh, I threw away the plate that had all the colors on it. Um, but yeah, those are the colors. Actually, wait. Give me a second. I might be able to get them. Okay, guys. So here are the colors that we used. So we used this light pink to finish touching areas that we needed to. Um, with the pink that we did before and these are the colors that we used today and here are the butterflies which yes i still need to go and clean that um but yeah so those are the colors i use here's the light pink which actually the funny thing about that is we had purple in it and we kind of sponged it on there but we were thinking okay maybe it's gonna look okay but then we didn't really like it i mean we when i say we i meant me i didn't like it anyways guys so then we went with the light pink and then we went with these colors and there's the butterflies so in a second i'll show you guys my painting how it looks now and then like i told you guys i'm also going to be using this at the very end so because you guys know i like my glitter so See you guys in a second. Bye. Then we go like this. I'm trying to do like different angles. So yeah, we're gonna let that dry, guys. We are going to let that dry, and then I'll do my final coat when this is dry. So catch you guys soon. Bye. Guys, I'm so excited. I finally finished my last step and I'll kind of show you guys. So I used this glitter color just to put on the heart and then I used this like foamy sponge and here's my plate. So yeah, guys, that is how it looks. How uh, We're just waiting for it to dry. But that is the final result of my painting, guys. And once it dries, I think if my dad's up to it, I will hang it up tonight and then show you guys after it gets hanged up in my room. And then after that, then I'll end um, this vlog video, guys. So thank you so much for all the love and support, guys, and for tuning in today. This is my first ever art project that I'm putting on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it, guys. It's taken me like weeks to finish this because I've had a lot on my plate and have to have a lot on my mind and have a lot going on. So I finally didn't put it off again and I finally finished it. So hold on, I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so like I said, I finally finished it. So we're gonna let that dry. And yeah, that's what it looks like, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, guys, and go on introductions, fam. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.
Hey guys, I finally finished my art project and I put it and hung it up on my wall, guys. Thanks to my dad, he helped me put it up. But I think it really goes well with my gray wall. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to my vlog video, guys, my art project video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to comment and subscribe, guys. And Glow Nation Productions fam, I'll see you in the next vlog video. Peace. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye.